All right, folks, today's video is gonna be, well, I'm gonna basically be like Jillian Michaels on her ass today. So, hope you're ready for this. <laughs> today it's gonna be real talk about fitness. I get so many people asking me questions um, about fitness stuff, because what probably some people don't know is that I do personal training, I do meal plans, I'm like a fitness slash life coach on, you know, healthy living and healthy lifestyle and all that good stuff. And my main forte is meal planning and basically trying to teach you how to go from crappy eating to healthy eating. And sometimes, you know, people just kind of need a motivational pick-me-up. And just from being a health coach and everything that I've dealt with people, you kind of got to be on people's asses. You know, sometimes you can be nice and I, I think there's a good balance. Um, but today I just am like, kind of, I'm going to get on your butt and I'm going to give you some motivation and kind of give you some tips on how to go from crappy eating to good eating and just kind of give you, you know, motivational, well, it's not motivation Monday, it's transformation Tuesday, but you know what I mean. So anyway, all right, numero uno. Stop making excuses. I mean, for God's sakes, please stop making excuses. Cause let me tell you, I have heard every excuse in the book. No excuses. I don't wanna hear it. I don't, I don't dig excuses. I don't wanna hear, oh, but I have kids. Oh, but I don't have enough time. Oh, but this, oh, but that. You know what? Girl, I don't wanna hear your big butt stories, okay? I don't wanna hear it. There's so many different things online and so many different resources and tools nowadays that I there's no excuse really for starting because I think what happens is people just overcomplicate and just overthink everything and you don't have to. If you're overweight, then it's time to start. If you're not feeling good and you're sick, then it's time to start. Like there's no reason and there's no excuse. There isn't. I just, nope, don't hear it. So instead of Facebooking and tweeting and Instagramming and all this time that we spend with our phases like this all the time, you could be researching and doing different things on, okay, what would be a good plan for me? You know, so it's a matter of figuring out and balancing out the time in your life and start eating healthy and start working out and stuff, right? Right. Numero dos, eat clean. Now, a lot of people think, oh, well, eating clean, it's gotta be boring, and it has to be this, and it has to be that. It doesn't have to be anything. Again, there's so many tools, and there's so many different recipes and stuff online that you can literally take, you know, just a basic meal of good protein and vegetables and a good carb and make something so delicious. You can, trust me. I've been it, done it. I don't like eating plain. I don't, I mean, I can, but I don't like it, you know, especially I'm with an Italian man. I mean, do you really think he's gonna eat plain food? No, no, he is not. He loves his spices, he loves this. And those spices and everything you can add to the food actually help it taste good. So be creative. Don't use it as an excuse that, oh, I, I, I don't know, it's gotta be plain, it has to be this. No, it doesn't. A lot of people say that there's not enough time because, you know, obviously with eating good, it's really easy to, and it makes your life simpler, to meal prep and get everything set for the week. Don't tell me there's not enough time because I, <laughs> with my story and everything that Louie and I have been through in the last year, there's time. You just have to make time. It really doesn't take, unless you're going to be prepping for 10 people for the next like two weeks, yeah, that will take some time. But if you're prepping for yourself, which most of the time is the case, you know, um, I get a lot of women that come to me and they're the ones that are you know wanting to start eating clean and then they have kiddos or they have a husband that you know obviously the kids you don't want to die your kids so they have their own separate thing so you're meal prepping basically for yourself it will literally take you not even an hour to cook your meat get your vegetables and everything set together put them in tupperware put them in the fridge for the week <laughs> it really doesn't take a lot of time believe me when i tell you I understand that a lot of people, you know, have kids and whatnot, but a lot of the times you're making quick meals for your kids, sandwiches or chicken nuggets, or, you know, you're throwing quick little things in the microwave. Again, don't make excuses. It starts today. It starts now. Make it happen. Prep, plan, prepare, right? Cool. And especially when it comes to eating clean, don't crash diet. 
oh, for God's sakes, please don't crash diet. <laughs> Go to somebody who knows what they're doing, get you a good, healthy, clean, basic meal plan that is good, a good balanced diet. Don't crash diet. Don't sit there and starve yourself and go and work out for hours on end because you're only jeopardizing your body in the long run. But I'll do a video separate with that down the road. And last but not least, I know with clean eating and everything, everyone's like, but, but donuts, but tacos and, well, but burgers and french fries and beer and blah, 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 blah. Guess what? That food's always going to be there when our bodies pass and when we, you know, pass away from, from this planet, and guess what's gonna be there? That food's gonna be here. So it's a matter of having a balance. So, you know, if you eat clean from Monday to Friday and Saturday, you know, you eat good during the day and at nighttime, you're like, you know, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna have half of a burger with a little bit of fries and maybe half of a milkshake. Okay, that's doable, that's reasonable, right? Again, don't make excuses. I know life can be stressful and hectic, but there's always alternatives, always balance, always, 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 always. So no excuses. Don't want to hear it. Okay. Number three, this is my third point. Put in the work. Get that ass moving. I'm going to be straight up with you right now. Get it moving. Even if it's for a 20 minute walk first thing in the morning, the best thing that you can do for your body is as soon as you wake up, you know, get your coffee, get a protein shake, anything like that, and go out and go for like a 20 minute walk, a good brisk pace, okay? That's gonna jumpstart that metabolism for the morning time, get it moving. I was reading so many statistics on obesity in our country and cardiac disease and stuff because when you're exercising that is good for your heart it's your heart it's working it. it's building that muscle to make you stronger and that's what our body needs like people don't understand how important it is to just be active even if it's for 20 minutes a day just to start and then your endurance builds up and then you can go for 60 minutes a day like what exercise does for our bodies is remarkable i want you to google it whoever is watching this i seriously want you to google the good healthy benefits of just basically working out and exercising and a lot of people know that a lot of people don't but seriously from blood flow to your muscles to there's so much it makes my head explode like it's it's crazy so get moving the last thing that i'm just gonna say i know this is kind of quick but i'm just gonna give you your good motivation for the day it starts with you. It always starts with you. Don't blame other people for any sort of reason for you falling off track or not getting started because it may, it starts with the choice on us. It always starts with us. So, and I understand it's hard. Sometimes it is really hard and life is so challenging, but it's up to you to overcome those obstacles and get on your own ass. You know, I, I'll be the first to admit it. I have been through so much with Louie. It's coming up on one year since our last, um, or our horrific motorcycle accident last October. And that completely flipped our world upside down. Um, from Louie being in the hospital for a couple of months to me having a broken foot and I couldn't exercise, I could barely walk, stuff like that. And even now it's still hard, but you know what I do? I find alternatives. It starts with me. It's so easy. I mean, I could have easily used our situation and um, made an excuse to, oh, you know what, <sighs> my foot's broken, I just can't, I just can't do it, or I could have gone into a depressed state and just been so upset about the situation, you know, Louis was fighting for his life and, you know, there's so many things that happen in life that you can, it's a choice, it comes down to you, it is your choice on what you're gonna do, and I chose, no, I'm gonna stay positive, I'm going to do what I can when I can, even if it was, there were times where I was only doing push-ups and like little things because, and sit-ups because I couldn't run. I could barely walk because my foot is messed up really bad. I had multiple fractures in my foot, so it still hurts and it's almost been a year. So I get it. There's certain things now that I'm hindered from, but I'm not making that excuse. I will make sure I keep going and I always feel so much better when I do it. So it's a mind frame. It's okay. You know, I got this switch on, I'm gonna get on my goals, I'm gonna get on my ass, and I'm gonna make sure I make it happen. 
So I figured I would kind of end this video with some health facts that, I don't know, <laughs> kind of will shock you into, mm, maybe I shouldn't eat that or maybe I shouldn't be doing that because it's like a serious wake up call with like how crazy, especially America is with like our health and we don't understand like there is so much, so many health issues that are going on in America and Americans these days because of poor health choices. So here's some facts um, that I was looking up that are pretty common and a lot of people may know, but I'm gonna tell it to you anyway. So a can of soda which a lot of people drink because it's, you know, carbonation, I get it, blah, blah, blah. 39 grams of sugar and one soda. One soda, a can, a can, like this big, a can. That's, dude, 39 grams of sugar. Like you might as well take the thing of sugar and just guzzle it down. Like that's freaking ludicrous to me. Uh, it's crazy. Anyway, next one. French fries, just one little medium French fry. Now, believe me, I love my French fries. I get it. I love them. They're so good. But French fries, 17 grams of fat and 50 grams of carbs in medium. And a medium is not that big. Like it's, you know, like almost 20 grams of fat and 50 grams of carbs, like 50 grams of carb. That's a ton. So rather than, you know, going out to eat and eating all these freaking french fries and dousing your body with saturated fat and all this crappy oil that sits there all day that well anyway make them at home so much easier and it's it's so much healthier what i like to do is i like cut up some potatoes and you can do the slice and you just drizzle them in olive oil a little bit of good like himalayan salt some pepper and it's so stinking good so much better for you so no excuses right right uh, wake up call gentlemen, alcohol actually lowers testosterone in a man's body. <laughs> like, uh, no. So yeah, no, testosterone loaded body, that's not a good thing. Um, a daily glass of wine can add 10 pounds a year. Don't mind my wine over here. Supporting a local winery. However, again, balance. So, you know, on a Friday night, if you want to have a nice, like, steak dinner or, you know, a nice little homemade cooked meal and you want to have, like, just a little glass of wine, okay, fine. But ease up on the wine, girlfriends. Believe me, I love my wine. But balance. It'll always be there. Balance. But water, like, an average uh, daily intake for adults is 39 ounces of water and for children 15 ounces let me just stop you right there <laughs> let's just take a moment and i'm just gonna <laughs> cry people water drink it it is so good for your body like people do not understand how important water is and they've actually done ton of studies more homework for you that water is linked to a lot of diseases and a lot of stuff that that goes on in our bodies that if you actually were to drink more water it would eliminate a lot of the health issues because water cleans out the toxins delivers nutrients to the cells and the different parts of our bodies it helps flush out the toxins out of our muscles hydrates you makes you feel good enhances your mood oh my gosh it's crazy like how important water is and how people just don't drink enough of it like you should be at least like i drink at least 100 ounces a day now a lot of people are like oh my gosh that sucks i'm gonna be peeing a lot blah 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 okay so what you can handle it you're a big girl you're a big boy like you can do it it's fine go to the bathroom do what you gotta do because I, the more you're doing that the more toxins and crap you're releasing out of your body you should be thinking me be like oh thank you amy i just see those toxins right there they're gone you're right I feel good, I look good, it's it's so important. No, but it speeds up your metabolism too. So my whole point is, uh, you know, drinking water and stuff actually helps speed up your metabolism too. <sighs> so this whole 39 ounces for adults, 15 ounces in children, not okay. Stop feeding them Gatorade and all that sugar water. Feed them water. Get some extra supplements with electrolytes because I don't always hear, oh, Gatorade has electrolytes in it. I mean, seriously, like there's other alternatives out there. Uh, another thing, very important with health facts. Okay, so you have your fruits and you have your vegetables. Okay, 
these are good things to eat. I know like so many people don't like certain vegetables and they don't like this and that and they're not. Well, would you rather eat vegetables and feel good and be healthy and like figure out a way to make it taste good or keep eating deep fried freaking foods and all that crap and putting it into your bodies? Because what people don't understand, and this is a good quote I found online, nutrients give our bodies instructions on how to function. So if we're not feeding our body with the good nutrients and all that stuff, our body doesn't know what to do. Like it literally, anything that is foreign, like when you're going out and you're eating all this crappy saturated food and all that stuff, your body's going, I don't know, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> so what does it do? Stores this fat instantaneously because it's foreign. It's not good for our body. When you see these foods that have like words that are this long and the freaking uh, ingredients section, your body's going, I don't know what that is. And it's not good for you. So stop making excuses. Like, oh my God, this is your one body. Don't you want to take care of it? I mean, seriously. Hello. Um, so yeah, so make sure that you are eating good. You're getting fruits, you're getting vegetables and everything like that. Don't give me excuses that they taste bad. Now, some things like, oh my God, are disgusting. Lima beans, I will never eat them. Like you can't get me to do it, but there's other alternatives. There's not just lima beans. And if there was, I would be one grumpy panda. <laughs> I will just tell you right now. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, important that you get a good balance of fruits, vegetables, protein, and good carbs. And I'm going to do a whole separate video on what that looks like, what those foods are. Um, because some people know and some people just don't. And so that's what I'm here for, is to teach you about all that. So that is it for today, you guys. I just wanted to kind of give you some motivation, inspiration on kickstarting your healthy lifestyle because there really is no excuse. It starts with you. Do your homework. Do your research. Stop looking at all the fad diets that are out there. Oh my god, like, I'm not trying to diss these people that come up with these diets or whatever, but just stop overcomplicating it. It's really not difficult. Eat clean, exercise, drink water, get plenty of sleep. Like really, that's all it has to be. Um, I do customized meal plans all the time, so I'll put my information below. If anybody has any questions, uh, shoot me an email. I'd be more than happy to um, help guide you towards that. And in time, I'm going to be I'm actually going to get a website going so that people, if they want to go on and get more information and get a customized meal plan, that's going to happen. Um, it's just a process right now. <laughs> Project that's going to be completed in the future. So anyway, get on those goals, stay on top of those goals, believe in yourself, inspire others, and achieve your goals forever, always. And um, please subscribe for more health videos, funny videos, fun videos, traveling videos, photography videos everything. Like this is kind of like an everything channel. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope this inspired you. I'll see you in the next video.